Hey BBs, it's Plastic and today I'm back with y'all for another video. Today we're back and we're ghoul chatting it up right before the new year. Um, I think this is going to be posted on New Year's Eve. And today I really want to give y'all my predictions and what I hope, I guess more of my hopes for the 2023 doll year. Um, There's so many fun things kind of coming up. We have again Monster High and Bratz starting to go back off of them shelves. Right behind OMG dolls are still have a lots of things rumored to come out this year and I just want to talk about my predictions for them and honestly also predictions for myself and resolutions for myself and what I expect from the community to start to do better because myself and the community included both have lots of things we could work on and I feel like it's just fun to chat about it. This is not serious y'all. Off the bat, one of my resolutions for this year is to stop buying into FOMO. That is one of my least favorite things about collecting is the fear of missing out and you know trying to buy something quick because you know it's collectible or whatever. And the biggest instance with this is that I kind of find myself getting into is the Monster High Collector, the, I guess, Rainbow High dolls, and some OMG dolls, and even Bratz dolls, actually. Bratz dolls are some of the worst of it. And um, I think I'm already starting to do better with this, as I haven't bought the Bratz Colt Gaia dolls yet, but I did buy the Maulola dolls, so who knows. Um, but the Monster High Collector dolls, these dolls are marketed as, like, a limited edition thing. Like, they come in, and you'll never get them again unless you buy them on eBay, and eBay prices are a lot of money. And a lot of the times when I think about when I buy these is... Oh, if I don't like them now, then I'll just, like, could sell them later and I'll make my money back. Whatever. Cool. But a lot of the times, like, some of the dolls that I have, like, for example, like, the Frankenstein 2-pack and Miss Dracula. Dracula. Oh, my God. I was called Dracula. Dracula. These dolls are both stunning dolls and I love them a lot. But looking back at them, do I think I necessarily would have paid the $75, $100 again? No. I feel like these dolls aren't, like, the best uses of my money. And another instance of this is the Honka Tour dolls. We cannot forget about those. Those dolls were beyond expensive. But honestly, I feel like they're kind of worth their weight in my collection. I feel like they fit into my collection. And they don't feel like outsiders. They don't feel like, oh, I bought this because they might sell out or they won't. I, I won't get them again. They, I bought them because I genuinely like them, which part of them is actually I bought them because I didn't want them to sell out. And that's something that I hope to not do that as much this year. Again, I still want to collect the more collectible dolls or, you know, the expensive ones, but these expensive dolls are taking a toll. And I feel like FOMO in general is just annoying. Um, a lot of the times I, like the first sale that I see, I buy because I'm like, oh, it's a sale, which in reality, like it's not always worth that. An example of this also is the um, LOL OMG, the sports second edition dolls of, uh, not virtual. Soccer Girl, um, Vault Queen is the ice skating one, and Kicks Babe is the soccer one. I bought those both for $20 each, which isn't like the worst deal, it's definitely better than $30, but in retrospective, these dolls have gone down to $10, $9.99, so I kind of do wish I waited for better sales. That's another resolution that I have, is to wait for a deeper sale, um, a sale that's worth my time and worth, I guess, my collection's time, because... The dolls are dolling. There's lots of dolls coming out this year. I, it's going to be hard to keep up with a lot of them. And I can definitely see myself selling off dolls in the future. Another thing that I want to do is sell more dolls. Because a lot of the dolls in my collection are just kind of cluttering. They're not really contributing to my collection. They're not contributing to my personal tastes. So I want to try to let go as well this year. I feel like um, I haven't been doing that very well. And a couple examples is my Mermaid dolls. I'm already kind of bored of those and I got them for a week. Um, and some OMG dolls and Rainbow High dolls maybe. Monster High and Bratz are kind of untouchable. My eyes I feel like they could do no harm and I love them both dearly to death so those are gonna be harder to I guess part with if I have to do those but I'm not really in a place right now where I feel like I have to part um part with them but speaking of Miss Monster High I feel like it's definitely time to get into them because the brand only just really just started again this year um we did have this collector dolls I'm talking about generation three though what I want to see from generation three is so many improvements I think they came out really strongly with the first core dolls the schools out the re the OG looks those dolls are all so beyond flawless to me I mean, not flawless quality control at Miss Mattel can be a lot better this year I think I don't want any more chipping legs Laguna and Frankie I'm so sick of my Laguna I can't even touch my Laguna because I'm so scared of her legs chipping off and my poor OG Frankie their little scar the little stitch thing is continued to rub off every time I touch them or even look at them not my favorite thing ever um, a couple other quality control issues that I really need to be dealt with is the probably properly in hair, which isn't really quality control, which is more of an issue. I do not want to see Monster High use any more probably properly in doll hair, any more probably properly in doll hair ever. Cut it out. I hope that, no offense to Claudine and the Cleo and whatever dolls use probably because they have nicer designs. I hope they all tank. I hope y'all have the worst reviews on those dolls. 
because I need y'all to realize that probably propylene hair is not the way to go. No one likes it. Kids get don't like it. I don't like it. Collectors don't like it. It's an issue for me. It's a, I don't like how it feels. It looks very cheap. It looks awful on my shelf. I, and I know that like, it's not, not like the biggest issue in the world. Like there's so many other issues. Like they could have pixelated faces. They could have less articulation. There's a lot of, they could have paper thinner outfits. There's a lot of other issues, but in my opinion, if y'all really want to come back hard with a comeback, use Saran or a nylon hair. Um, a higher quality nylon is perfect. I think if you guys implemented a different rooting tool, we could definitely get the nylon back. I know Mattel is kind of opposed to that, but I would love to see Mattel and Monster High use nylon. I think it would be really nice for Claudine in general. For Also for Generation 3, I really want to see them have a movie. I not And I know they have a live action movie. I want an animated movie because... Animated Monster High movies are one of my favorite things to watch, and I love Generation 1 animated movies. I know the animation in the Generation 1 movies aren't, like, the best. I love animated movies, though, and I really hope that... Again, I know we are seeing the sequel to the live-action movie, which I'm beyond pumped for. I have no idea when that's actually coming out, if that's this year or next year. Not really a sure, but definitely excited about it regardless. And I know that we do have that Series 1 and 2 of the animated show, but I've been enjoying the animated show so much recently, especially that new holiday episode, um, which I think is the newest one. I don't know if they've put out anything out yet. But that episode was so good. I love to get to know the characters, and I really hope the show can continue to be strong and work uh, how it has to work. I think the show is doing an amazing job so far with getting giving us information about these new characters, giving us cornier jokes. I do wish the jokes on the show would be a little bit more mature. I know it's a Nickelodeon show and it's the same place as Spongebob in the Loud House, but I always feel like the preteen audience that they used to kind of cater towards, the humor was kind of, it wasn't as like fart jokes, you know? And I hope that in the future we can kind of see less fart jokes and more like, I guess, regular humor. I don't know. Not like, you know, dirty humor because it's obviously still a kid show, but I feel like the older generations and other kid shows in general have had a time and place where they can cater towards both kids and adults, which um, I hope they can kind of do. I hope that honestly we even see a Generation 1 show where that's more preteen, teen, uh, young adult maybe um, influenced. I don't want any like weird like adult cartoon of Monster High or Bratz or anything. I just want to see a more, um, I guess... I feel like it is a kid show, so like it can't be too hard on it. But you know, I wish it was a little bit more, um, like audience differently. Um, and I do hope Generation One or Generation Three does continue to have strong releases this year. I hope the quality does not budge. I hope it honestly gets higher. I feel like I'm another fear that I have for kind of the Monster High universe right now is the quality not being able to compete with other brands. So I'm just hoping my hopes for them is to up the quality, maybe maybe go a little bit crazier this year. But I don't really know. This is just again my hopes. Um, but back to Generation 1, because I was talking about them for a minute. I hope we stop seeing those stupid Mattel Creations drops. Oh my god, y'all. I am so sick of the Mattel Creation drops. They are so exhausting. There's so much stress with them. I hate collector dolls. I've said that so many times. Collector dolls are painfully annoying because they're hard to get a hold of. They're expensive, and they're not really, really like worth what they cost, I guess, to buy. Um, so I hope, I hope we see less of those, but I hope we see more, um, mainline, playline, Generation 1 dolls. I know that we don't really need Generation 1 dolls on shelves. I just hope they are able to have them stocked online. If you're not going to give us dolls in stores, if you're not going to give us reproductions in stores, make them available online. Make them the quantity of the Generation 3 dolls, or maybe a little bit less. But you know what I mean? Like, make them the quantity of, you can, like, take MGA for an example, they have been doing an amazing job at keeping all of their dolls stocked this year. I'm not going to talk about Summer Party, but even their collector dolls, like the Paris Hilton, the um, Lily Chang, all of them have stayed in stock so far really nicely. And the same with the new Bratz dolls, like the Malolola dolls have stayed in stock consistently, which is super impressive. And I'm happy that they are able to do that. I just hope that if Mattel and the Monster Eye team continue to do collector drops or even limited generation one drops, I hope we can kind of see them... Um, continue to just be do better at stocking them because the stocking this year was awful. Um, which leads me to another point. I want to talk about how horribly done the reproductions were this year. I hope that we get reproductions next year. I hope that these new reproductions are amazing as the first ones were, but I hope they are stocked better and hope they're in store, not in stores. I hope they're just online. If they're online exclusives, I hope they're widely available online. I hope they are in every website for longer than a weekend, longer than five seconds, longer than a minute, 
because the real drama dolls that I got were beyond impossible. Like, they were so hard to get, but I did get them. How Lady Draculaura was a nightmare to get, but I got her. Um, I just hope that we can kind of, in this new year, be better with stocking stuff. Maybe we won't. I don't really know how the business model works for them, but it would make more sense to produce more, right? Like, they would make more m I don't. I don't know. I don't really know. But I hope that they can kind of do better with that. Another brand that I love to talk about is Miss Bratz. I have a couple hopes for them. I hope they do a playline, which I don't think we'll ever see from Bratz again. But my hope for 2023 is that we see a playline Bratz doll somewhere. It might not even have to be in the beginning. It could be like mid-year, late year. A show maybe, some media, a movie, a TikTok series again. Talking Bratz came and went, had two episodes and dipped. Anything for the Bratz media, I would love to be able to tune into a show, even if it is more, I guess, adult catered. I don't really want Euphoria and Bratz or anything like crazy because I don't really like, I don't want to see them do like hardcore drugs and stuff. But I just want to get something from them. I know we already know the characters from lots of past media and stuff, but I want to get them to know them more. I want to get maybe even new characters. I know that's crazy for the brand, but I want to see old characters that only got one doll kind of reappear. I want to see Kina. Um, I want to see Dresden. I want to see all these old characters come back. I want to see um, just more from them. I feel like the Bratz brand this year um, was kind of just fixing the wrongdoings with the screenings, the hair. So they definitely were kind of taking this year to step their game up, which I very much appreciate after that fiasco that was Rock Angels and the GCDSD dolls and even the Pride dolls. Those screenings were horrible. Um, I'm just happy to see them start to do better, especially with examples like Girls Night Out and the Mala Lola dolls and even Series 2. I think those are amazing steps in the right direction. And I hope that this year we get to see even reproduction dolls, more of them maybe. I hope we see them in stores. I hope we see them go on sales. All of that fun things because I want to give Bratz my money. I love Bratz dolls and I hope they can do better in the future. And I'm hoping they can st continue with the stock. I hope they continue with the good designs. I hope they can continue with the nice hair and the faces. I'm super impressed with them and I'm definitely happy and I hope they do more. I just want I just want more. That's literally all I want is Playline and a movie. I don't know, or show, I don't know. Um, another line that kind of hit hard this year was both OMG and the Rainbow High Dolls. My only advice and hopes for them is for Rainbow High to kind of slow back on the releases for a minute in the middle of the year to the end of the year during like the second, third, and even fourth, I feel like fourth quarter kind of slowed down, but the middle quarters of this year, there was so many dolls coming out. Like it felt like series four came out and then Shadow High, Twins, and then the Closet, then Shadow Vision. But there were so many dolls that came out for the Rainbow High and Shadow High brands this year. And they kind of turned me off to the whole brand for a good couple months, to be honest. Like I wasn't really buying them that much over the summer. And I kind of just lost my interest with them. I am happy that I do like them now. They haven't had as many drops. I think the light, latest one was Paris Hilton. And that's what all I'm hard passing on, I think. But, but I definitely am happy to collect them. I just hope they can kind of slow it down and make the, the releases more exciting. Because I feel like they just kind of had them so much that it wasn't exciting to get a new one. It was like, okay, cool. Like, the quality's good. The design's good. Like, I'll just wait for a sale, I guess. Like, there's nothing really, like, I don't need this doll right now. Because I just bought your Pacific Coastline that flopped. I hope they never do anything like Pacific Coast again. That price point was horrible. I also hope Rainbow High can kind of, that brought me on another point. Hope Rainbow High can be consistent this year with price points because last year these those price points were up and down. The shoes being $10, but then a whole doll being 30. Like it was very up and down. And I hope that we can kind of see a consistent price range in the future. Um, if you're gonna make the dolls expensive, make them expensive. If you're gonna make them cheap, make them cheap. I don't like this game we're playing. It feels very rude to the consumer and the fan who is literally buying your dolls and is excited about the dolls watching the media listening to the music again buying the product i just hope that we can kind of see a more casual i guess price range that doesn't make people go crazy um and i do love them but i just hope they do better and for omg i love my omgs and i love the designers and i love everything about them but i hope that they can do something this year that you know kind of grabs our attention again hope that it can kind of re-give their spark again because the last year for omg while i loved the omg dolls i love the fashion show line this year i love the queens line this year i loved the fierce line this year i hope we can see something from the brand that brings them back to the main girlies because right now rats monster high and rainbow high shadow high whatever that team may be kind of eating them up a little bit and i fear and i feel like they deserve their spotlight again i think those dolls are all amazing the tweens dolls continue to slay um i just hope that they can kind of lower the price point a little bit and continue elevate the designs i think 
more design, I guess, I don't, even, I don't even know any examples, because I just feel like some of the designs, like, they're all good designs that came out this year. Just some of them weren't as good as the previous dolls, which kind of makes me upset, because I love the brand so beyond much. But that's my really only, I guess, also, I really hope the LOLOMG show and movie can kind of stay consistent with the timeline. This year, it was super hard that the OMG show was very inconsistent when uploading their dates. We didn't really get a clear schedule like we did with Rainbow High. I hope both those shows can stay consistent with the animation and the upload schedule because it's annoying, again, as a fan, to not really understand when the next episode is going to be. It's just kind of like, all I want from the brand is to have a kind of um, clear schedule. That's all I'm asking. And I hope that we can kind of stay up with quality and everything for them because I love them. Another thing from like the general public of all the dolls, I do not want to see any mermaid dresses in the year 2023. I don't, unless it's a Laguna doll, no, or an Ariel, no more mermaid dresses. We've seen plenty of mermaid dress silhouettes from this year. We're all sick of it. No one wants that silhouette anymore. Please change up the silhouettes this year. Please stop with the mermaids. Please, like, we get, we get it. It's a very gorgeous silhouette. We're tired. We need something different. But um, I do appreciate the quality without going into those gowns. Let's just switch it up, babes. I want to see something different. So from this year, I really, really hope that Barbie can have their strong comeback that they deserve. Barbie has kind of been flopping a little bit for the past couple years. But this year, we have the movie coming out. And I'm so beyond excited for that movie. I think Margaret Roberts is going to do it. Maggie Roberts? I think that's her name. She's going to do an amazing job in that role. And I'm definitely excited after seeing that trailer. I hope that the Mattel team can bring Barbie back into a better kind of light. I hope that we can have a more new a new facial sculpt. I hope we get less pixelation. I hope we get a different era for Barbie. I'm not loving the era we have right now. I really want to see you guys switch it up. I want to see the quality come back. I want to see the designs be more interesting. I want to see the price point not be so inflated. I just really, really hope that Barbie can come back and stomp on the other girls. Like, Barbie was really the it girl, and it makes me so sad not to see her as stunning and amazing anymore. I just hope that Barbie gets her glam back, her stunning back, but I hope that she can do that with a diverse cast, as Barbie has never really had, um, until recently, a really diverse cast like the Fashionistas line has. I hope that we can get those, like, diverseness of the line into a glamorous, high concept pretty doll like i just want pretty barbie dolls that aren't disgusting in quality i don't know what y'all want i want barbie to be a pink plastic girl again i don't want her to be a working girl i don't want her to be working on the farm okay make her pretty again i also want to see less collector dolls i want to see the prices go down on those because a lot of the dolls and the collector kind of thing is going cr it's driving me a little bit insane right now how much the collector dolls are just going crazy like Yes, your box is very cool. I love your box. I like that your box spins. I like that your box lights up. But I don't really care about the box. Like, the box is going to be unboxed. I'll throw the box maybe in my closet, then I'll throw it away in a couple years. I do not need your fancy boxes. If you're going to do collector dolls for a high price point, put every cent of that, I mean, give us a box, but, like, put most of the money into that, into marketing it and making it the doll as amazing as possible. I do not care about collector dolls right now. They are just the epitome of the like the world the industry does not need any more collector dolls we have seen our fair share of collector dolls give us one collector doll this every year and make it a holiday to one and that's it we do not need any more collector dolls make everything playline and i'm actually begging you for that like i do not want to see any more collector dolls because it's pissing me off it's actually making me angry to see collector dolls i don't know why as a collector i'm annoyed that we have so many collector dolls like we get it but i also have some expectations that i want to see from the community this year um, me and myself included, I really want to see the community do better. I feel like there's lots of things that have been happening, and again, with the community becoming bigger and larger, obviously there's going to be more problems. One thing that I really want to see is less fighting within the everybody, because a lot of the time, we're just fighting over plastic, it's not that serious, and the fights have been kind of out of control. I feel like I log into some social media sites every day, and I see the same tired fight, and people just take things a lot personally. People just don't think that much. I, I really hope the um, community also kind of gets some brains. Um, I hope the community can do better. I also hope the community itself just stops buying from overpriced listings and scalpers because the only issue, again, the only way we're going to solve the scalping issue is to stop buying from them, stop showing them that we are interested in buying their overpriced dolls. I'm talking new dolls. I'm talking old dolls. I'm talking that Felicia doll, that Sweet Dreams Felicia that you're about to spend $800 on. Do not press that buy button because we might get a reproduction anytime. Um, also, please stop buying 
the insane listings for the Mattel Creation dolls. I'm begging y'all, you do not need Draculaura for $300, Honk Couture. She will be there. She is not worth $300. If y'all stop paying for them, they will go down in price. I'm actually begging you on my hands and knees, do not buy those dolls for that much money. They are not worth it in the slightest. Um, that is just, it bought, like, every time I see someone, like, being like, oh, I just got Dracula for, like, that much money, like, it drives me insane. Another thing that I want to see in the community is holding other content creators responsible for their actions. Recently, I feel like there's been a lot of issues with certain content creators where they become very icky and, you know, they haven't been doing their part in the collect the community. They've just been creating more problems than they are solving. And usually they are the creators that are bigger up on, like, you know, the PR list and everything. And, you know, they're, they have more power within everyone, but they're doing a lot of shady stuff off screen. A lot of them are stealing content. They're being like, racist. They're being homophobic. They're being fat phobic. Um, and all of these things are just not what I want the doll community to represent. I want the community to be represented by people who actually care about dolls and do not care about money and are not being paid off by someone. Um, so I hope that the community itself can kind of start to hold these people accountable and we can kind of move on with this whole like petty drama influencer thing because we're the doll community y'all we need to get in check for a minute and we are not the beauty community we're not like i don't know what other communities are toxic all i know is like the beauty beauty community is toxic like that and i just really think that we're better than that i think that we have a lot in common and i feel like again this community is super niche that we don't need to be fighting every day about stupid stuff and we don't need to be racist i feel like is that like the hardest thing to say is we don't need people who are racist and you know have all these issues be the forefront of the community i really hope that the community can kind of take a step back and just hold people responsible and be better that's like that's like my only really hope for the community this year is that i want them to be better i want them to start thinking more i don't know um but yeah i don't really know that was kind of my predictions of for 2023 i feel like this year has going to be lots of twists and turns i'm definitely excited to see what brands do i'm excited to see what happens and i cannot wait to see what is in store for this year i feel like i'm just like i feel like i don't know like i'm it's like every year the everything gets changes a lot and i'm excited to see what changes they are and maybe i'll revisit this video in a year and i'll be like oh that didn't happen or that did happen or you predicted that i don't know um, but yeah, please let me know in the comments below what y'all think is going to happen this year and what your hopes and predictions are, what your resolutions may be, because um, I'm dying to know I truly am and I'd love to have a conversation with y'all down there. But yeah, with that, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching this video with me and hanging out with me and ghoul chatting. It was so much fun and I really hope that all of you guys have a great new year and hope you have a great new year's eve or whatever that team may be. Um, and I love you all so very much. Have a great night. Love you. Bye. Mwah, mwah, mwah.